Let's stay standing. Let's head for the scriptures. Hallelujah. I came pregnant with the word for you. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, I want you to prophesy to my people. Tell them I'm about to intervene in their stubborn circumstances. For there are circumstances uh, that don't just, hallelujah, they don't just move. It's why there's something called stubborn stains. Uh, are there stains that can be removed by you just applying some water and a sponge? But there's something called stubborn stains. And when you deal with stubborn stains, you got to get something stronger. Well, this month is the month for something stronger. Something stronger from the presence of God. Something stronger from the anointing of God. Something stronger by the hand of God. So I came to prophesy to somebody something stronger. I said something stronger. I said something stronger. This is the month for something stronger. To wipe away that which has been resisting your prayers, resisting your worship, resisting your, 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 your devotion, resisting your confession, but I've come to prophesy to somebody that the anointing of God is going to rise up in you, the anointing of God is going to come up on you, and the problem shall surrender to the anointed. Hey, hey, somebody say my problem shall surrender. Wow, wow, wow. Glory to God. Let's read our key scripture. Hallelujah. The book of uh, Isaiah chapter 42, reading from verse 13 to 16. You can read after me. It says, the Lord shall go forth like a mighty man. Let's read together. The Lord shall go forth like a mighty man. He shall stir up zeal like a man of war. He shall cry. Yes, he shall shout aloud. He shall prevail against his enemies. He said, I've held my peace a long time. So he tells you that God can be quiet. He said, I've held my peace. He said, I've watched what's happening to you. So I've watched what's happening with your circumstances. I've been watching what's happening. But I have now come down to deliver you. I've now come down to do something about it. So the month of September is the month where he comes down to deliver somebody. Where he comes down to change someone's circumstance. I came to prophesy that to somebody. He says, I have been, let's read again. He says, I have been still and restrained my Myself. Now I will cry like a woman in labor. What does that mean? It means I so want to deliver you. I'm like a woman who is fully dilated and the baby is coming out. It says I am fully dilated with violence on your behalf. I'm fully dilated with a miracle for you. I'm fully dilated with an intervention for you. I say it's coming out of me. It's coming out of me with a scream. It's coming out of me with a shout. It's coming out of me, it's coming out of me for you. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Oh Lord, Lord, Lord. He says, he says, he says, he says, now I will cry like a woman in labor. I will pant, I will gasp at once. Let's read. I will lay waste the mountains and hills. I will dry up all the vegetation. I will make the rivers coastline. And I will dry up the pools. I will bring the blind by a way they have not known. I will lead them in parts they have not known. I will make the darkness light before them and the crooked places straight. Say every crooked place in my life shall be made straight by the anointing of this month, by the anointing of today. Every crooked place shall be made straight. These things I will do for them and not forsake them. Let's take our seats. Hallelujah. There are five stubborn problems that the Holy Spirit showed me. Five stubborn problems. And there are five. There are four anointings that God told me to release today. So today is an anointing service. Somebody is going to get anointed. One of the mandates of my life is to take the oil of the anointing to my generation. So I came today with the anointing on me. I came 
hallelujah, after I have a meeting, not with Federal Express, but with Anointing Express. I, hallelujah, I had a meeting with God, and he told me to take an anointing to this service. He said, somebody would need to receive from that anointing. Hallelujah. So there are five problems, but there are only four anointings, because the fifth one, yeah, yeah, that one is too high, but I'm going to share with you, because God told me to share with you on five stubborn problems and four anointings that can be released for those. And as I am sharing, I will be releasing. As I'm sharing, I will be releasing. So you don't have to wait till the service ends. You don't have to wait until I start prophesying. You have to wait until I finish for you to receive what heaven has for you. The Bible says, as Peter was speaking, as Peter spoke these words, the Spirit fell on them that heard. I said, as Peter spoke these words, the Spirit fell on them that heard. I've come to prophesy that as I speak these words, the spirit shall fall upon somebody. As I speak these words, the anointing shall fall upon somebody. As I speak these words, glory shall come from the eternal heavens and step into someone's life and change your circumstances. This is what I came to say today. Is there somebody in this place who is ready to receive? Is there somebody in this place who is ready? He says, Bishop, I didn't come offline. I came online. I'm connected. I came with my password. I'm connected to the stream of the anointing today. Is there somebody who is ready to receive? My God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, let's go. The first anointing that I've come to receive is the Baal Parazim anointing. Now you've got to understand that your man of God, the Lord told me and called me to preach on the cryptic scriptures. So you go in the Old Testament and you pull mysteries. Hallelujah. So I've come with some mysteries today to release to somebody. Somebody say the Baal Parazim anointing. Now let's turn. The Bible says in First Samuel chapter five, reading from verse seventeen to twenty, he says, "When the Philistines heard that they had anointed David king over Israel, all the Philistines went in search of David, and David heard of it and went down to the stronghold. Then the Philistines also went and deployed themselves in the valley of Rephaim. You see, the first type of problem is a problem that doesn't respect your anointing. You see." There are some problems. The moment you get anointed, they leave. There are some devils. The moment you get anointed, they leave. But then there's another kind of devil. When they hear you anointed, that's when they come. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I came to prophesy to somebody who's dealing with a devil who's come in your life because you just got anointed. You just got something for God. That devil comes for that. Oh, you say hallelujah. I can understand this. How come God just gave me this breakthrough? How come I'm praying more than I've ever prayed before? How come I'm studying more than I've ever studied before? How come I'm living more holy, I'm living more pure than I've ever been before? And then I'm facing the devil in my backyard. I'm facing the devil in my kitchen. That's because you're dealing with a devil who comes because of the anointed. It's a stubborn devil. Shake at Babasaya. That's not a devil who says he's anointed. Let me get out of town. Shh. He's anointed. Let's get out of here. You got anointed. We're coming. That's when they say give higher anointing, higher what? Devils. That's the type. Ooh, high anointing, new levels, new what? Devils. That's the type. That's where they got it from. New level, new devils. This is the type. It's a class of devils. Shake a tabasada. But there is an anointing to defeat them. 
I said there's an anointing to defeat them. I said there's an anointing to defeat them. And I'm going to release that anointing in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. So David inquired of the Lord. It says, shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hand? You see, there is a class of devils. You need strategy on how you're going to deal with them. You see, because these are not common devils. These devils are not intimidated by the fact that you are anointed. They say, ay, 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 ay. You see, there are devils. The moment you get anointed, they get out of your life. But then there's another class who, when they hear that you are anointed, that's when they say, we're coming for you. That's when they say, we're coming for you. Because you got something that we want. We want to strip that anointing from you. We want to silence that anointing. We want you to sabotage your anointing. We want you to mess up. So we're coming after you, baby. You said you're anointed. You came to church. You preached a nice message. You preached and prophesied. You got a breakthrough. You got a raise. You got a promotion. Well, guess what? We like promotion. Because when you get promoted, that's when we come. Oh, are you hearing what I'm preaching to you? So that's another class of devils. So these types of devils, they need strategy. How Leo said, David did not assume. He said, shall I go up against them? And the Lord said, I will deliver them into your hand. I came to prophesy that every Philistine devil that is pursuing you. Now, do you know who the Philistines are? Turn to your neighbor and say, do you know who the Philistines are? The Philistines are the Palestinians. The Philistines are the Palestinians. They are still giving Israel trouble. <laughs> still. They are still in Gaza. Same people. Same people. So when you say the Palestinians, say, what is this between Israel and the Palestinians? Hey, this is Israel and the Philistines. <laughs> She could Oh, hallelujah. Now, this is what the Bible says. And the Lord said, Go up, for I would no doubtless deliver the Philistines into your hand. So David went to Baal Prozim, and the Lord defeated them there. And he said, The Lord has broken through my enemies before me like the breakthrough of water. Therefore, the name of the place is called Baal Prozim. Now, let me break for you what Baal Prozim means. The word Baal Prozim means Lord of the breach. What it means, it means uh, it's a term used for a dam in which you have water but there's a dam and the dam stops the water from flowing it means uh, you've come up to a place and there's a wall against you you come up and you reach a wall you're fighting against an invisible wall you see the philistines they were like a wall against david anytime david wanted to move forward the philistines surfaced anytime david wanted to move forward the philistines surfaced so a philistine problem is a problem that always surfaces when you want to move forward. When you want to move forward. When God comes to move you forward. When you come to move forward in a relationship. You want to move forward in your job. That Philistine problem rises up all the time. That's the type of problem we're talking about. So the problem forms like a wall and it contains you. Hallelujah. Like a dam contains water. But the Bible says that the Lord came and he's called the Lord of the breach which means he cut a breach in the wall. He says he cut a hole in the wall. He cut the wall down so that the water could gush out. So I've come to prophesy to somebody that the wall that has been raised against you, the wall that has been raised against your anointing, the wall that has been raised against your gift, the wall that has been raised against your progress, I've come to prophesy to somebody. Thus said the Lord, I am the Lord, they are present. I shall breach. The a breach shall occur. There shall be a breach against your enemy. You shall penetrate the wall. 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 The defense that they have against you, you shall break through it. The word bear present is the Lord of the breakthrough. Somebody is going to break through. That's where we get the word breakthrough from. Bear present. A breaking through of the wall. Jesus. Jesus. Somebody say breakthrough. 
Hallelujah. So I've come to prophesy that whatever, if you're dealing with a Philistine problem, I said if you're dealing with a Philistine problem, I'll come to prophesy to you the Baal Prize anointing. Hallelujah. You need that anointing to what? Break through the wall. Break through. You need to breach what Satan, because what the Philistines did, they surrounded him to stop him. But he did what? He broke what? Through. I've come to prophesy, you're going to break through. I said the anointing shall make you break through. I said the anointing shall make you break through. My God. Shefa Arabasa. There are kinds of walls. Some people, emotional walls. Some people, financial walls. Some people, communication walls. There are kinds of walls that are erected. But I've come to prophesy to you, but thus said the Lord, that you shall break through every wall in the mighty name of Jesus. That the anointing of God is in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're ready to receive. Stand up. Lift your hands up. Hallelujah. I told you I'm going to be delivering the anointing in the name of Jesus. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Not everybody needs the bell, praise the anointing. But if you know you need this anointing. Then cry out to the Lord say, Lord, give me this anointing. Lord, give me the anointing to break through. Give me the anointing to break through the wall. Give me the anointing to break through the wall. Give me the anointing to break through the invisible walls that are set against me. Well, I'm ready to go to the next level. I feel the wall against me. Start praying in the name of Jesus. I start praying in the name of Jesus. La ba 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Right now, I release in this place uh, the Baal Perizim anointing in the name of Jesus. Uh, I release uh, the breakthrough anointing. You shall break through the wall. You shall break through the stronghold. You shall break through the wall. 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 I release in this place. Uh, I release in this place. Uh, I release in this place. Uh, I release in this place. 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 I will listen this place. I will listen this place. The Baal Perez of the morning. In the name of Jesus. The anointing of the breakthrough. Administer it. Administer it. Administer it. La Baba Bashata. It shall not be like normal. 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 You shall break through the wall. 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 Whatever wall is erected to stop the anointing, to stop your gift, to stop your advancement in the name of Jesus. I prophesy. I prophesy with my eyes open and my eyes closed. I prophesy that the bear prayers of the Lord comes upon you in the name of Jesus. Let that take Oh, glory be to God. Let Papa Papa Tata Shada. Hey, let that Talaba Sunday of the Sunday. Rock that Talaba Sunday of Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Somebody say, I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Baba Sata. Le Baba Sata. Hallelujah. For somebody, there's a wall between you and your children. Whenever you want to move forward with your children, this wall is, comes there. But I've come to prophesy that the Baal Perizim anointing breaks you through. For other, there's a wall between you and your significant other. When you want to go, hallelujah, there was a wall that's erected. You shall break through. For some, there are things that you know you need to do to get out of where you are into what God wants you. Whenever you want to do that, there's a wall that's erected. You shall break through that wall in the mighty name of Jesus. For some, there's a wall when you pray. There's a wall when you study. There's a wall when you study. There's a wall when you study. But I prophesy in the name of Jesus, by this anointing, you break through. Somebody say, break through. Say, Baal Perazim. Anointed. I receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Take your seat. Hallelujah. Let me administer the next anointing. So the next anointing, hallelujah, is called the Jericho anointing. Somebody say the Jericho anointing. 
Hallelujah. Joshua chapter 6, reading from verse 12 to 13, 16, 20, and 21. And Joshua rose up early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord. Then seven priests bearing seven trumpets of the ram's horns before the ark of the Lord went on continually and blew with the trumpets. And the armed men went before them, and the way God came after the ark of the Lord while the priests continued blowing the trumpets. And the seventh time it happened. Somebody said the seventh time when the priests blew the trumpets that Joshua said to the people shout for the Lord has given you the city so the people shouted when the priest blew the trumpets have come to prophesy to someone that what your mama was never able to take what your papa was never able to take because Jericho represents something that defeated your papa something that defeated your mama because the ancestors of the Israelites they were defeated at Jericho they could not take Jericho so this was a problem that the children inherited. So I've come to prophesy to somebody to shout for the Lord has given you what your mama never could take. For the Lord has given you what your papa never could take. The breakthrough that your mama never got. The breakthrough that your papa never got. I prophesy to you with my eyes open and my eyes closed that the Lord shall give you that which your parents were never able to take. That's the Jerry Connelton. My God, Shekatala Baba Sakaya. Eda Baba 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 say. Jericho is the place of historical defeat. Jericho is the place where your family never were able to take it. But you, by this anointing, shall take it. Hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. You see something that your mama never did. Something that your papa never could access. The Jericho anointing will cause you to access it. You will take where they were defeated. Their worst moment was in Jericho. But the best moment of the children of Israel was in Jericho. The next generation. I said the next generation. You see, there are things that your parents were never able to take and enjoy. I've come to prophesy to you today by this Jericho anointing, by this Jericho anointing, it shall come upon you. Somebody step up. If you stand up, if you need the Jericho anointing, stand up and start praying. Hallelujah. Start praying. Say, Lord, send the Jericho anointing to me today. Lord, send it. Send it. Stop praying. This is an interactive message today. you got to pray. you got to pray. Because I'm releasing the anointing. Hallelujah. What Papa never got, you must get. The breakthrough they never got. The wall that stopped them. The wall that stopped them. The wall that stopped them. The wall that stopped them shall not stop you. What they were never able to access, you shall access because of the Jericho anointing. The anointing to defeat ancestral and historical boundaries. Oh, pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Oh, this is a service where you got to cry out to God. you got to cry out to God. For the Bible says, I will pour out water on the thirsty in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. you got to pour out in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Pour it out on us, Lord God, today in the name of Jesus. Orla mama masa tayere bebe heke heke la mama he he haraba ha 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 ta saraba ha te he he in the name of Jesus. Orla mama masa tayere bebe he arebe so toro bo so to in the name of Jesus. Lord God, today, in the name of in Jesus, name of Lord, Jesus. Lord, that's it, that's it, his prayer. Hallelujah, Lord God, God, pour it out of us, Lord God, pour it out of us, pour it out of us, Lord, 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 pour it out of us, now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, pour it out of us, Lord, pour it out of us, pour it out of us, pour it out of us, Lord, in the name of Jesus, ah, Rabba, Shanta, Yerebe, Heke, Eka, Ta, Shanta, Ta, Shanta, Ta, Shanta, Ta, Shanta, Ta, Shanta, Ta, Shanta, Jericho, 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 
So I receive it. I receive the it. Jericho anointing the Jericho anointing for my life. For my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's take our seats for the next one. Oh, the next anointing that I've got to minister to you is the eye anointing. Somebody say the eye anointing. Now the Bible says in the book of Joshua chapter 7 from verse 2 to 6 and from 10 to 11. Now Joshua sent up men from Jericho to Ai, which is beside Beth Aven on the east side of Bethel and spoke to them, go up and spy out the country. So the men went up and spied out Ai and they returned to Joshua and said, do not let all of the people go, but let about two or three thousand men go up and attack. Do not we all the people for the people of I are few. So about 3,000 men went up there from the people, but they fled before the men of I. The men of I struck them down. About 36 men, that means 36 men died, for they chased them from before the gate as far as Shibrahim and struck them down on the descent. Therefore the hearts of the people melted and became like water. Then Joshua tore his clothes and fell to the earth on his face before the ark of God until the evening he and all the elders of Israel and put dust on their heads so the Lord said to Joshua get up why do you lie on your face Israel has sinned and they have also transgressed my covenant which I commanded them for they have even taken of the accursed thing and they have both stolen and deceived and they have also put it among their stuff now I have come to prophesy to somebody who the Lord gave you a project but when the Lord gave you a project you formed a relationship an accursed relationship or you had an accursed thing in your heart you had a sin in your heart you had an iniquity in your heart or you formed an accursed relationship because an accursed thing is something that when you connect to it the curse that is on the thing comes upon you I've come to prophesy to somebody who connected with a Jonah you see if you connect with Jonah even though you are not disobedient like Jonah but if Jonah is with you Jonah will sink your boat. So there was a man by the name of Achan that had connected with the accursed thing. So there are people who they have accursed things inside of them that connect to the demonic. So even though God has told you to do something, so you got to do what God has told you to do, but because of the accursed thing in your heart or the accursed relationship that you have, Satan has entry and Satan defeats you doing what God told you to do. Oh, can I prophesy to somebody? Oh, can I prophesy to somebody? Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I prophesy with my eyes open and my eyes closed? I can prophesy. I can tell you this by the Spirit that the people here, there are things that God gave you to do, but they turned out wrong because there were accursed things inside of you or you are connected to accursed people. But I've come to tell you right now, hallelujah, you are afraid to do back what God told you to do because when you're defeated like that, your heart that melts. There's fear on the inside of you. But the eye anointing is to go back. The eye anointing is to get sanctified and go back and take eye again. Oh Lord. I said the eye anointing is to go back to what defeated you because of the accursed thing that you connected with. Manderebesheka. Yeah. The Bible says a companion of fools shall be destroyed. It didn't say a fool shall be destroyed. It said a companion of fools. So if you connect yourself with a fool, you get the fool's judgment. 
He said, So some of you, you still have Akan connections. Akan connections. And your Akan connection will defeat you even though you have a divine promise. Because the divine promise cannot be executed with Akan or Akanela. Hey, are you with me? I said, You have Akan and you have who? Akanela. Jesus. Oh, some turn to your neighbor, say, put a canela out. Turn to your neighbor, say, put a can out. A canela ain't good for you. A canela will cause a curse to enter into your life. A can will cause a curse to enter into your life. Are you hearing what I'm prophesying about? Right here. There is a Ekanela. That's why the Lord told me, change it. Because there's a man that is playing with Ekanela. Ekanela will cause you to be defeated. Can somebody shout hallelujah in this place? I said, can somebody shout hallelujah in this place? Can somebody shout glory in this place? Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So the anointing of I. Hallelujah. Let's go back to the next scripture. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now the Lord said to Joshua, do not be afraid, not be dismayed. This is after Joshua had sanctified the people. What did he do? They found Achan, they found Echanela, she and her household, and they stoned Achan and Echanela to death. Are you with me? Somebody say, kill Achan. Somebody say, kill Echanela. Hallelujah. You need to send a canela back and say, come back no more, no more, no more. Hallelujah. You need to tell a can, come back what? No more, no more, no more. Back. Get out of town. Are you with me? Hey. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. See, people don't know. That your connections can defeat you. Your connections can destroy you. You can be a good man connected to Ekan. If you're connected to Ekan or Ekanela, you are what? Toast. Ekatabashito. Hey, hallelujah. Hey, somebody say, I receive. Say, Ekanela must go. Somebody say, Ekan must go. Jesus. Lebra basakatai. Who, Lord? He said, do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. Take all the people of war with you and rise and go to I. See, I have given it unto you the king of I, his people, his city, and his land. So Joshua rose up and all the men of war to go up against I. You see, I've come to prophesy to somebody that the I anointing is coming on you. You got defeated before doing it, but now, because you've sanctified yourself, from Ekan and Ekanela in the name of Jesus you shall not lose again are you with me? now I hear something in my spirit I'm seeing something in my spirit there are some people they try to convert Ekanela they say wait but what about if I convert a canela, what about if I convert a can? You see, you need to understand a canela and a can are unconvertible. In fact, they will convert you. The, the only conversion that is taken is they will convert you from blessing to curse. She cut up I said, they will convert you from blessing to curse. I came to prophesy to somebody whose life was converted from blessing to curse that a canela must go. Hey, my God. 
Lekatabasakai. I'm prophesying like I'm feeling it. Hallelujah. Rekatabasai. I'm prophesying like he's talking to me. Hallelujah. Rekatabasolobosetai. Hallelujah. There's a tale. I can go to the man right now. I can know it's on the phone. Delete her picture. Somebody said delete. But I won't go to you. I won't go to you. But I can see your picture. I can go to your phone and I will take it and say, here is a canela. Shake her time. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Somebody say, I refuse to be connected to a curse. La mama sheshe. La baba basheya. La katata. The people you are connected to determines what you are connected to. I said the people you are connected to determines what you are connected to. There are women who will not make 60 because of who they are connected to. What is on their man will send them to an early grave. If they were not connected to that man, they will live until 85. Jesus. But you see the problem? Akan is their project. Project Akan. Project Ekanela. I am a project officer. I work for the Ekanic Ministry. Ekanic Ministry International. We, we find Ekans, we connect with them, and we convert them. No, they convert you. Jesus. Somebody stand up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody stand up. Start praying to receive the eye anointing in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, send me the eye anointing. The eye anointing. The eye anointing is to disconnect yourself from Achan's and go and carry out what God has called you to do in the name of Jesus. Start praying. Start praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Le ba 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 seka. Le ba 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 seta. Le ba 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 seta. Hallelujah. Le gano bo sheke. Le bra ba 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 shita. Le na le nde nde ya. Se ba 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 se. Le bra ba 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 siya. Le bra ba 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 shika. Le na 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 shiya. Oh Lord. I heard this in my spirit. You see some people, they are married to Ekan. Some people, they are married to Ekanela. I heard this in the spirit. The Lord said, some women have heads and some women have headaches. <laughs> some women, they have a man who's a head over them. Some women, they have a man who's a headache. Here. <laughs> and like my spiritual father says, some men, they have a wife. Some men, they have a knife. But I came to prophesy to somebody. I said I came to prophesy to somebody. I, the I anointed, cry out to God for the I anointed. The I anointed, the I anointed, the I anointed. The I anointed. Le bra ba 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 se, la kane me se, le bro bo ko se kere ya, le gro man si kere me, le ba ba si ko ro bo se ke. Oh Lord, 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 le gata si ere. Hey, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I do not. I'm having a vision of a woman saying, "Hello, Bishop. Let me introduce you to my headache." <laughs> If I say that, that means there are women here who they are dealing with a headache. This is my resident headache. Your headache will send you to an early grave. They will bury you and your headache will still be alive. Hey, hallelujah. Because 
when you see Achan and Achan smiles, say, hey, something is working. It could be the anointing is working. Achan smile today. Give us a break. <laughs> Achan is improving, you know. In fact, Echanella, she said, the Lord is my shepherd. I had Echanella say Psalm 23. Wow. So, you know, her intercession is working. He. So, we say, I receive. I receive. The I anointed. Where I was defeated. By Echan. By Echanella. In the name of Jesus. I will not be defeated. I will take the territory in the name of Jesus. Let's take our seats for the next one. Halalala Baba Sava. Oh, this one was tender. This one was tender. The next one is Aaron's rod anointing. Someone say Aaron's rod. Aaron's rod anointing. From Exodus chapter 7, reading from verse 8 to 13, then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron saying, when Pharaoh speaks to you, saying, show a miracle for yourself, then you shall say to Aaron, take your rod and cast it before Pharaoh and let it become a serpent. And Moses and Aaron went into Pharaoh and they did so. Somebody said they did so just as the Lord commanded and Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants and it became a serpent but Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers so the magicians of Egypt and they also did so with their enchantments you see there are people who they right now the people in this church who are in the court of Pharaoh what do you mean you are fighting for your freedom and you're fighting against witchcraft because the wise men and the enchanters of Egypt they were witches so this is what happened when you pray and you bind they also release and release incantations so you bind the incantation they establish it again you come and you take a sass oil and you sprinkle it in your house and you declare they leave then they go get their own demonic oil and they get it again. In fact, this time they leave the witch from Suriman and they go to the witch in Guyana. Hi. Then after you then go, you say, I'm going on a four day fast. So you go on a four day fast and you pray, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. After the four day fast, all the enemies are scattered. Then they say, the witch doctor in Guyana is not enough. Let's find the one in Haiti. Then you say, Lord, I'm going to go on a 21 day fast. You go on a 21 day fast. You say, Let God arise and his enemies scatter. Every dark force in your life leaves. They say, Hey, she's rising in levels. Let's now go to Congo Brazzaville in Africa. <laughs> Let's go to the witch by the Niger River. <laughs> Are you with me? So this is when, when you're praying, they also are releasing. So it's called what? Tit for tat. That is called tit for tat. Because some of you, you're in tit for tat warfare with witches and warlocks. When you pray, they also release. When you pray, they also release. But the Lord said to release something today. To release something today. To release Aaron's Lord anointing. Because the Bible says here, hallelujah, it says, for every man threw down his rod and it became a serpent. So they threw down their rods and their rods became serpents by witchcraft. Aaron's rod became a serpent by divine power. But something happened. Something happened. Something happened. And Aaron's rod swallowed up the rods. Jesus. Aaron's rod swallowed up the rods. I came to release an anointing that will swallow up what every witch is doing. I came to release an anointing that will swallow up what every warlock is doing. I came to release an anointing that will swallow up what every sorcerer is doing. Against your life. 
stand up, let's pray. Somebody say, give me Aaron's rod, the anointing of Aaron's rod. So any witchcraft against me, the power of God swallows it up, swallows it up, swallows it up, swallows it up. Stop praying, stop praying. You need to pray with fire for this one. You need to pray with fire for this one. In the name of Jesus. Release a palace now, O God. Release a palace now, O God. The air is anointed in the name of Jesus, oh Ramahata, e Karabasate, every problem shall surrender today. In the name of Jesus, the Lord anointed now. In the name of Jesus 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 now. Now, 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 now. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Put on me. Put on me. The anointing. The anointing. The swallows of witchcraft. The swallows. Up witchcraft, the swallows up the occult, the swallows up the occult, the swallows up enchantments, the swallows up enchantments, the swallows up spells, the swallows up spells. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Name of Jesus, God, Jesus. Let her go on the floor now. Power of God, Jesus. Which God, every damn day, something light is happening. Everybody who's attacked by witches, the anointing swallows it up now. Pray! Pray! I said, pray! 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 Jesus. La Baba Basata. My God. My God, I tell you. My God, my God, now, 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 swallow up, 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 swallow up. Jesus, my God, Jesus, Lebra Baba my God, I feel it. My God, I feel it in the spirit. I tell continue praying. Continue praying. Continue praying. Continue praying. Continue praying. Continue praying. 
something is happening. Witchcraft powers are going. Witchcraft powers are going. Witchcraft powers are going. Witchcraft powers are being defeated. 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 Hallelujah! My God, the power. My God. Shatalabai. Lapapapasakai. Alabasoto. Lapapapasataya. Lapapapasatai. Which got powers? Which got powers? Lalai. Power God, power God, power God, power God, power God, now, now, power God, now, now, power God, now, Jesus' name, la ba 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 side, power God, power God, now, now, power God, now, now, Jesus, which got powers, which got powers, which got powers, which got powers, power, power, which got powers, now, 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 Jesus, now, power God. Now, Jesus' name, my God, la ba 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 sai, the anointing, la katala ba sai, la katoro ba she, e la ba 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 she, hallelujah, swallow up, so say swallow up, swallow up, Jesus, la kata ba sa la ba sa, la katala ba ba soro ba she, Jesus, whoo. I can't just prophesy to somebody. La ba 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 say, my God, Jesus, power, 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 Jesus, the fire, shakatai, fire, 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 swallow up, fire, swallow up, fire, 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 Jesus name, my God. The people of God shall be free today. My God. Hey. Hala baba basata. Hala baba basata. Hata la baba satara. Eta la baba sata. My God. That's it. That's it. I'm seeing the spirit. Swallow it up. Swallow it up. Swallow it up. Jesus name. My God. Jesus. Lakataras, witchcraft powers, witchcraft powers, they're destroyed. The anointed on you swallows them up, swallows them up, swallows them up. Jesus, 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 my God, Lakatishidi, Jesus. Continue praying, people. Continue praying, people. Continue praying. Continue praying. Continue praying. Shut up, Baba Basa. We are fixing some things here. We are fixing some things here. And mountains are swelling up. Swelling up. Jesus. Now, 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 Jesus. Now, 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 now. Jesus, now. Jesus. Jesus. My God. My God is working. My God is working. My God is working. Things are changing. The realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. I told you I came to deliver anointing. I didn't come to preach. I came to deliver an anointing. I came to deliver an anointing. La katabashaya. Le katabasai. Hallelujah. That's it. It turns around. From this day. They run before you. They run before you. They shall come at one way. They shall flee before you seven ways. Jesus. My God. My God. Let's take our seats. Hallelujah. I got one more to preach to you and then we close. Hallelujah. Let's turn to the fifth problem. Somebody say the fifth problem. Somebody say the fifth problem. 
Now the fifth problem is the highest problem somebody can have. Hallelujah, let's turn there. The fifth problem is the highest problem somebody can have. There is no problem as stubborn as this problem. Hallelujah. And the fifth one is what I call plea your case anointing. Or you can say reversing a divine verdict anointing. Somebody say reversing a divine verdict. Now the Bible says in 2 Kings chapter 20, reading from verse 1 to 7, in those days Hezekiah was sick near death and Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amor, went to him and said, thus said the Lord set your house in order for you shall die and not live. Hallelujah. That is a divine verdict. When God tells you, you are going to die, hallelujah, set your house in order, that is a problem. There is no problem going than that. This is not a devil giving you a verdict. This is God Almighty giving you a verdict and say, thou shalt die or I shall take this ministry from you or I shall take this thing from you or this thing shall not happen for you or I want this will happen this way and not happen that way or this shall happen to your children or this shall happen here and God gives you a verdict. So there's a divine verdict because God, the Elohim is the judge of all the earth and he issues verdicts so a verdict was issued on behalf of Hezekiah and it was set your house in order for thou shalt not leave thou shalt die and the Bible says then he turned his face towards the wall and prayed to the Lord and said remember now O Lord now this is a problem that I cannot release an anointing for there is no anointing for this one that a man can release to you. You can only have this anointing if you and God have a track record. If you can say, remember God, how I tithed and gave sacrificially to build the church. Remember God, how I'm faithful in prayers. Remember God, how I obeyed you to serve you and do what you called me to do with the usher team. Remember God. Now, if you don't have anything for God to remember that you have done, there's you, you can't even pray. Because this is, you have to bargain with God. And what you have done in the past is leverage. If you have done nothing in the past, there's no leverage. Jesus. My God, Jesus. He says, remember now, O Lord, I pray, how I walked before you in truth and with a loyal heart and have done what was good in your sight. Now, if you are living on God's forgiveness, you can't pray this one. <laughs> that is God, remember, for the last 10 years, I've never had to ask you forgive me because I've been living right. This is a prayer that is based on your track record with God. It says, And Hezekiah wept bitterly, my God. And it happened. Before Isaiah had got out into the middle court. Hmm, that means, the Lord sends me to prophesy to you. And say, Thus said the Lord, Sister Daphne, Thou shalt not live, Thou shalt surely die. Set thy house in order. Hey, Sister Daphne says, hey, Sister Daphne turns her face to the wall and starts praying, Lord, remember how I have been faithful in my work. Remember how I've lived with you. Remember when you told me to put Achan out, I put Achan out. Hey, you know Achan was giving me her. Hey, Achan bought me a car. I say, Achan, take you and your car gone. Me and Achan were supposed to go to Miami. I said, Lord, take Achan and his Miami trip gone. I forfeited my Miami trip and my BMW 3 Cs. Hey, 2017 model. Lord, I forfeited all of that because I was obeying you. Lord, you know how I've lived hard and pure before you. When I feel the feeling to call Achan, I disconnect the phone. Hey, yeah, yeah, Baba Shatter. Lord, you know how I have been. You know how I've been. I have walked before you holy and pure. 
You know how I've been faithful in church. When they said to give, you know. Hi. In fact, the chair, the very chair the bishop is using, I bought it. The chair that he uses for counseling, I bought that chair. In the desk, I bought it. So you begin to list what you have done for God. The Bible says that I left your house before I stepped into my car. God speaks to me again. And the Lord speaks to Isaiah and says, Return and tell Hezekiah, the leader of my people, thus said the Lord, the God of David your father, I have heard your prayer, I have seen your tears, surely I will hear you. And on the third day, you go up to the house of the Lord, and I will add to your days 15 years. I will deliver you and this city from the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city for my name's sake and for the sake of my servant David. Then Isaiah said, Take a lump of figs. So they took it, laid it on the boil, and he recovered. Here, yeah? this is the power to reverse a divine verdict. <laughs> so to develop that power, you have to be somebody who works with God. You have to be somebody so you can back in with God. You can actually say some things. From this day, start working on that because the day will come you need it. The day will come when you need it. And God will say, this child will die. And you start to list. And the Lord says, okay, I changed my mind. So the Lord can change his mind. You see that? Did the Lord change his mind? He changed his mind because Hezekiah back in with God and made God remember what he did. Say, so Lord, you know every day I was in this church working. Every day. Every day. In fact, if you are a good Christian, if you're sick, your bishop has a lot to negotiate. Like a great prophet was sharing, one of his members died. And when his members died, he was outside. And the man went to heaven. And this prophet, Kenneth Hagin, began to pray. And say, Father, you know this man is the number one tither in church. Number two, he is the most kind, godly man, godly businessman in the city. He's such a great witness. Number three, he's not even 70 yet. Lord, I need a man like this in my church. Please, bring him back. The man was in heaven. And Jesus said, you have to go back. Because Kenneth will not let you come. So go back. Because Kenneth had something to do what? Negotiate. Then another member of his congregation died immediately after. He was dying. Had you died, he was dying. And he went to negotiate as well. And the Lord said, you have nothing to negotiate with. He said, this man is as holy as he will ever be. If I heal him, he's going back into the club. So right now, the best thing for him is to die. He said, Lord, he said, this man, the most holy he's been, is now on the sickbed. He has never been holier than on the sickbed. So the best time for me to take him is now. Because if he leaves the sickbed, he's going back into the club. So you have nothing to negotiate with. He has to die. So the man died. Mm -mm -mm. Jesus. If you walk with God, people can negotiate on your behalf. And you can negotiate on your own behalf because you walk with God. Can somebody shout in this place? Hallelujah! And with that, my message is over.